Hello and welcome back, dear viewers, to World One Wonders. Today, we're diving into the realm of science and speculation as we ponder the intriguing question, what if you could clone yourself? We have always been fascinated with the idea of cloning. What if you could create a copy of yourself, or someone you love? This idea has been a part of science fiction in movies for decades. But what if this became a reality? Let's explore the possibilities together, get ready to embark on a thought-provoking journey with us. There are three types of cloning, reproductive cloning, therapeutic cloning, and gene cloning. Reproductive cloning involves reproducing an entire organism. Therapeutic cloning is the creation of an embryo that can be used to create specialized cells for medical treatment. Gene cloning is the creation and manipulation of genes. The process of cloning involves taking a somatic cell from the donor and implanting it into an egg cell. The egg cell then develops into an embryo with identical genetic information as the donor. However, cloning comes with its set of challenges and ethical concerns. The possibilities of cloning are limitless, but so are the ethical implications of creating a copy of oneself. Cloning could potentially cure genetic diseases, create desirable physical characteristics, or even extend human lifespan. But what could be the long-term consequences of playing God? Imagine a world where you could create an identical copy of yourself, sharing your memories, experiences, and even your unique personality. The concept of cloning has captivated minds for decades, blurring the lines between science fiction and reality. But what would it truly mean if we had the ability to clone ourselves? Cloning, in its essence, involves creating a genetic duplicate of an organism. In the case of human cloning, it would mean duplicating an individual's DNA to create a living, breathing replica. Sounds incredible, doesn't it? But let's delve deeper into the possibilities and implications of such a groundbreaking ability. Firstly, imagine the practical advantages. Need an extra hand to accomplish tasks or pursue multiple endeavors simultaneously? Your clone could serve as the ultimate assistant, sharing your skills, knowledge, and abilities. Think of the increased productivity and efficiency. But it's not just about practicality. Imagine the emotional connections and bonds you could forge with your clone. They would understand you like no one else, sharing your memories, experiences, and even your dreams. It would be like having a lifelong companion who truly gets you. However, as with any groundbreaking technology, there are ethical considerations. Questions of personal identity, individuality, and the very essence of what it means to be human arise. Would your clone have the same rights, emotions, and consciousness as you? How would society perceive and treat these clones? Moreover, there's the concern of unintended consequences. What if the cloning process goes awry, leading to unforeseen genetic abnormalities or health issues? As we explore the possibilities, we must carefully navigate the ethical, legal, and scientific landscapes that surround this controversial topic. Ultimately, the idea of cloning ourselves raises more questions than answers. It challenges our understanding of identity, relationships, and the very fabric of our existence. It forces us to ponder our place in the universe and the potential impact of our scientific advancements. Thank you for joining us through this video. I hope this video has given you a lot to think about regarding the possibility of cloning. Although it has some upsides, there is a lot of unknown consequences that may arise from such an action. I hope you enjoyed this journey through the science and ethics behind cloning. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more mind-expanding content. Until next time, keep pondering, keep questioning, and remember, the boundaries of human potential are as vast as our imagination allows. 
This is World One Wonders, signing off.